the world of Jumanji, anything can happen. And the same applies for the movies. It's been more than two years since Jumanji The Next Level was released, and many have been wondering when will the fourth sequel premiere? Well, good thing you are here, because we are about to take a first look at Jumanji 4 and tell you all we know about the upcoming sequel. In a game. You can't be serious. Did you know about this? I thought you were done talking. The entire franchise of Jumanji we all love today began with a 1995 movie starring the incredible Robin Williams. Today, this franchise has been completely changed and has entirely new cast members, but we don't complain. Both of the movies have gained an incredible amount of fame and success, so it would be only obvious for another one to get made. Well, luckily, Jumanji The Next Level will definitely get a sequel. According to the producer of the franchise, Hiram Garcia, the pitch of the new Jumanji movie is ready for Sony. It will be the fourth installment of the Jumanji franchise and the third in the rebooted series. So prepare to return to the magical world of Jumanji once more. Garcia remains hopeful that the movie will 100% happen and that he has a big vision for the fourth movie. He has plans on when he would begin the movie and he currently waits for all the actors to free up their schedules so he could gather them all around once again for a Jumanji experience. You can imagine just how busy the start of Jumanji is, especially Dwayne The Rock Johnson who had multiple movies being released in 2021 and still has a few more on his schedule. It would be a hard job to gather all of them at the same time without them working on another movie. But we are hopeful that if anyone can do that, it is Hiram Garcia. Also, Sony seems to be super interested in making this movie since it is a good business. The first movie, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, made a shocking $961 million at the box office, which was a pleasant surprise for Sony. They did a sequel titled The Next Level, and once again to their surprise, it made $800 million. Today, this franchise cost $2 billion and has a bunch of A-listers on board. So who wouldn't want to make another successful film that would have the potential of making up to $1 billion? There is not a chance that Sony would give up on this franchise, so that is just more good news for us. Did he change his head? <laughs> Given that nothing is official about the fourth movie, we can't say for sure when this movie will premiere. We are remaining hopeful that throughout this year, Sony will accept the pitch and that the production can begin in the middle of 2022. Since it is all up in the air, we believe that soon enough we will have sort of a confirmation about the movie and later on an official release date. But until then, all we can do is kind of assume when this movie could potentially premiere. The two previous movies both received a December release date, the first one releasing in December 2017 and the second one in December 2019. And since this date has worked quite well at the box office, we imagine that the fourth one could get a similar release date. Since the two movies had a two years gap between them, we were hoping that we would see this movie in 2021. But that didn't happen. So the best we can hope for is a December 2022 release date. However, in order for that to happen, they are supposed to be already filming as you are watching this video. And even then, we are not sure just how much time they will have to make it all happen by December this year. So our next assumption would be a 2023 release date, which sounds a bit more believable than 2022. That would leave a four years gap between the next level and the new sequel. But we'll try not to complain about all these years of waiting. Also, another part of the reason why this movie still hasn't been filmed is due to the very busy schedule of the actors. Kevin Hart even said that it is a challenge to make this movie, or to even talk about it, since everyone involved in the movie is busy. None of them have the intention of walking away from the movie and are excited to come back for another one. But we guess they'll have to find a period of time where their schedules aren't so crazy. <laughs> Okay, we will say this once again, nothing about this movie is official yet. However, since we all know the first and the second movie, we believe we are safe to say that we know who will be among the cast of the movie as well. It is expected that the core cast members will make a comeback and reprise their roles. This includes Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan, and Jack Black as the avatars inside the Jumanji game. While the real-life group of friends will be played off by Alex Wolf, 
Morgan Turner, Sir Darius Blaine, and Madison Eisman. Also, don't be surprised to see Danny DeVito return as Spencer's grandfather, Eddie. Another person that could make an appearance could be Danny Glover as Eddie's friend, Milo. But at the end of the next level, he chose to stay in the game as the Cyclone, the Flying Horse. So we're not completely sure whether he will come back. Since all of the main stars in this movie are portraying an Avatar character in the game, we could assume that maybe certain characters from the past could come back since they are only alive in the game. That would mean that Nick Jonas and Aquafina could return, as well as Colin Hanks and Alex Freak. Besides all the characters we have seen so far in the two movies, we'll probably get to see some new fresh faces added to the cast. But since nothing is official, there aren't a complete cast members list, so we could dive deep into each actor and its character in Jumanji but we are sure we'll cover that in a future video. As of now, we can just hope that the four main actors are more than happy to return to the franchise, since we don't know what the movie would have looked like without at least one of them. If you watch the Jumanji The Next Level and you watch the post credit scene, then you have seen the handyman going to Spencer's house to fix the heater when he messes with a Jumanji game. Unaware of the consequences, only this time, instead of getting sucked into the game, he managed to bring the game into the real world as we saw a flock of ostriches running outside. This is the same thing that happened in the original 1995 Jumanji movie where the game came into the real world. So due to that, we believe that Spencer and his friends will try to put an end to the mess that has been created, and they'd have to go back into the game once again to find the solution that would help them solve the problem. Spencer will once again return as Dr. Smolder Braviston, but it would be a fun and interesting idea if this time, Braviston could come to the real world since the entire game is already there. The entire storyline would be about saving the world from the chaotic game, as the four teenagers figure out how to put the game back where it came from and away from real life. So far, these are only some theories and speculations on what could happen based on the ending of the next level. But it wouldn't sound so shocking, would it? We sure would love to see the original storyline from the 1995 movie be mixed into the sequel and be transformed into something different as well. It would definitely be a completely new way of telling the old story as we get to see our favorite characters go against Jumanji once again. We don't know about you, but we can't wait to hear more about this upcoming sequel movie. On a related note, we wanted to know, what do you think will happen in Jumanji 4? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, Thanks for watching, guys.